Devarim, Deuteronomy 25. If there be a controversy between men, and they come unto judgment, that the judges may judge them, then they shall justify at the righteous, and condemn at the wicked. And it shall be, if the wicked man be worthy to be beaten, that the judge shall cause him to lie down, and to be beaten before his face, according to his fault, by a certain number. Forty stripes he may give him, and not exceed, lest if he should exceed, and beat him above these with many stripes, then your brother should seem vile unto you. You shall not muzzle the ox when he treads out the grain. If brethren dwell together, and one of them die, and have no child, the woman of the dead shall not marry without unto a stranger. Her man's brother shall go in unto her, and take her to him to be his woman, and perform the duty of a man's brother unto her. And it shall be that the firstborn which she bears shall succeed in the name of his brother, which is dead, that his name be not put out of Yasharael. And if the man like not to take at his brother's woman, then let his brother's woman go up to the gate unto the elders and say, My man's brother refuses to raise up unto his brother a name in Yasharael. He will not perform the duty of my man's brother. Then the elders of his city shall call him and speak unto him. And if he stand to it and say, I like not to take her, then shall his brother's woman come unto him in the presence of the elders and loose his shoe from off his foot and spit in his face and shall answer and say, so shall it be done unto that man that will not build up his et brother's house. And his name shall be called in Yasharael, the house of him that has his shoe loosed. When men strive together one with another, and the woman of the one draws near for to deliver at her man, out of the hand of him that smites him, and puts forth her hand, and takes him by the secrets, then you shall cut off at her hand. Your eye shall not pity her. You shall not have in your bag diverse weights, a great and a small. You shall not have in your house diverse measures, a great and a small. But you shall have a perfect and just weight, a perfect and just measure shall you have, that your days may be lengthened in the land which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you. For all that do such things and all that do unrighteously are an abomination unto Yahuwah Eloheka. Remember at what Amalek did unto you by the way, when ye were come forth out of Mitzrayim, how he met you by the way, and smote the hindmost of you, even all that were feeble behind you, 
when you were faint and weary. And he feared not, Elohim. Therefore it shall be, when Yahuwah Eloheka has given you rest from all your enemies round about, in the land which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you for an inheritance to possess it, that you shall blot out at the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. You shall not forget it.